about enough moisture to go and dry on one perfect system. So this year we've got about uh, four hectares of our bourbons drill. We've got drilling campaign mix and more mix. About half an hour split. Put into the first field, or first plot, and this one is about 0.9 of a hectare and we're drilling more mix into this one and it's checked the seed depth so as you can see we've got a nice little bit of moisture sort of just under the surface which we're sort of wanting to drill into if I can actually find some seed is going to be the question this one which is like half a hectare so these guys come in half hectare packs um, yeah so here's the label but yeah half hectare packs folks in or? yeah I don't I don't have much left in there now which in there it's about 50 kilos Annoyingly, I've got a GoPro Hero 9 and last year I was filming during the week and it fell off and went straight through the drum, the GoPro did, and the front screen is broken. So I can't actually see whether it's filming me or not. Hopefully it is. Whole mix of seeds. I'll get some on hand. Yeah. All different types of seeds. There's lots of different types in there. 
because so it's quite a small seed so it's got really small cell wheels in but we're still drilling it at a rate of drilling at a rate of about 16 kilos a hectare which is the recommended amount so smart spider. Um, I only put in half hectare. Yeah, I'm gonna need to put a little bit more in. I put in half hectare, which was, and this one, I think it's about 0 0.8. I'm actually splitting this one into two, as um, last time we drilled this bit, or this end of it, the more mix didn't actually grow. However, at the other end it did, so, and it's just come out this year, so I'm gonna split it up, and hopefully, if it, this does feel again, I'm actually going to have a better cover crop down there. It's going to be campaign mix, which is almost guaranteed to grow. Yeah. I'll put in sort of a third, hopefully, a couple, two thirds, sorry. Hopefully, that'll be enough to. Hopefully that'll be enough to get us to the end of the thing. And I'm going to go back to the yard and switch seeds. And then I'm going to move on to drilling campaign mix. Right, so I just switched over to the campaign mix. It is campaign mix south. Uh, so it's got pretty hayley wheat. Uh, I think that's also got linseed in. A bit of radish. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a... Okay. I'll put a... Uh, photo in as a ticket about now. Um, I'm drilling this slightly deeper than the other one because it's got more wheat and barley in and drift Kaylee which the rooks like to pick up. Yeah, as I was saying, um, it's got more wheat and barley in it and drift Kaylee the rooks like to dig up so I'm putting it a little bit deeper so it makes it a little bit harder for them to dig it up. 
drilling this at 37 and a half kilos a hectare. We're putting in, also putting in a little bit of chicory uh, because it's so good. So we're putting in a little bit of chicory. So it might be able to do two years with a little bit of regrowth and everything, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch to my phone for the moment because I, my GoPro is, I can't, uh, it's really hard to film it. So I'm just gonna put it down for the moment. Yeah, as I was saying, even though you can't see other windows, over there, that is what I drilled as more mix, more mix. And now on to the other end. So we're going at a different angle. Yeah, these windows really on shopping. Um, we have been, yeah, I've been, we've been bailing, and it's very dusty. And then it had a little bit of a, a little bit of rain, so of course the dust all sticks and it. I can't really see out the windows, I need to give it a bit of a watch. Yeah, so this is just the first one, I think it's, that's not very much, 0.4 acre. And then, I got the biggest one, which is 1.1. So we're cutting it down a little bit because we've had, a, we've got a little bit too much on it. So, yeah, let's get back to that in a minute. Yeah, I should be saying that all of this seed is from King's Crops. We get it through, we get it through Frontier, which is our green dealer, green merchant, and we get it all through King's Crops. So it all comes pretty much ready mixed. Uh, the more mix we wanted with chicory, so they put chicory in with it as an option. And then we've got some bags that we've mixed in with this, but it's all come pre mixed from King's Crops. And yeah, it's very good. They all they recommend seed rates and everything, and they are very accurate. We've tried to cut seed rates down previously and it doesn't work. <laughs> so, yeah, and we've got, yeah, we've drilled a lot of things from King's Crops. We get all our cover crops from King's Crops and uh, that is overwinter cover crops. And we've also got some AB15, which is two year legging, two year legging fallow. And we've got that, uh, that comes pre mix. With this year, we've got a non grass mix, a grass free mix, sorry. And it's got five different flowering legumes. So, and that is all from King's Cross. Let's do these little blocks out. There's a little bit of weed pressure, but we're not too worried about that. As it is just a bit cut. What are you doing? Of course that does that on camera. Okay, so it looks really nice. Like I say, we're drilling this a little bit deeper because of, um, because of the pressure from the rocks more than anything else. As we do not trust them to dig, not dig it up. Um, this one I'm on here is 1.1 hectares and I've done probably half an hour. It won't take me long and I'll be done. And then I've got another hectare or so to do. So now I'm just finishing off, I'm doing the last little bit. I've done, I did the other one which was a hectare, um, which is just over the hedge behind me. So just over that tree line, which is actually a pit That was about a hectare, and I've now just finished up the last one. I've got two or three more ends. And I'm done. Hopefully, I'm not going to have to put any more seed in, but I'm not sure. I've actually got a wire on the tank of the drill, it's got wave, wave scales on it, but I put in, I've got a bag sitting in the tank, which you can probably just see through the window. I've got a bag sitting in there, so it's now lying. Um, I had a quick look and I hopefully it's going to do it, but I'll see, because it's also got block extensions, block extensions on it, so as soon as it's run out of seed, it'll, it'll, it'll tell me that it's not flowing through, so hopefully I can get there. I've got a round left and two headlines, so hopefully I'll go on. Well, I didn't make it to the end. I just got to the end of my next row and it told me I'm empty. So, yeah, I think we're empty. I think we're empty. So I'll just put in a little bit from this bag. I don't have to reach around the row. That's really annoying. Yeah, that's really annoying. I thought I was going to be able to make it to the end, but obviously I can't. I've finished that one as well. 
ended up with three. I think. So we ended up with 3.15 hectares of campaign mix, and I don't know where it was the other one now. Two hectares for that as well. So actually ended up with slightly more than I thought. But that is how it goes, I suppose. Um, I know it's probably some chunk. It likes leaping. I turned the fan on. There we go. Alright, so we're done. I'm going to put it in the barn and go to bed. It's now quarter past ten, so it ain't quite late. But. Alright, so this is the. Oh, there's. So this is the first sort of video I've done like this. Hopefully, it comes out alright. But any, any sort of feedback will be much appreciated. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.